Hello, so this is going to be a little quick uh, video about the uh, artifact update for 7.2. Now uh, we go over here with the artifacts. I have just completed the artifact upgrade quest chain. So if you had uh, 35 points and you well multiple points into your extra passive, you are going to get these refunded. And what's going to happen is you're going to get uh, this unlocked. So as you can see. This has uh, three new talent. Oh, yeah, three new talents. Uh, this one having four points into it, and it's quite expensive, as you can see, fifteen million for the second trade point. Yeah. So it basically it's taken the uh, all the points you would have needed to get the the twenty points into this, and converged them into a, a six point system. So, for Unholy, it is uh, Lash of Shadows, uh, Death Harbinger, which, really good. Holy crap, that's really good. And uh, this one is also pretty good. I like all three of these. The This is a really good upgrade. Unfortunately, the uh, power-up only seemed to have worked on my uh, Unholy weapon. Because if I show off my death, or uh, my blood, it's still what it was beforehand and same with my frost my frost doesn't even have the other thing showing <laughs> so I unfortunately cannot show that but here is something cool they have now made it so you can see all the weapon appearances so I'll show that off real fast and, yep, if you look at that, Kill Jaden is the final boss in the next raid. So, I figured that was the, um, that was going to happen because in Burning Crusade, you had Akamon in one of the raids, and then you had Kill Jaden. So, we had recently refought Kill, uh, Akamon. If you don't remember, Akamon was the final boss in the, uh, well, let me just show it off. So yeah, here is uh, all the different bosses. Let's see if we can get their models. Uh, that's a pretty interesting uh, flaming uh, Manoroth. Uh, this just kind of looks like a skeleton. Now, I don't expect any of these to be fully finished. That's pretty cool. That's like a corrupted night hold. You know, some corrupted night elves. This looks pretty cool, I have to say. Unfortunately, we can't get a full version of it because, as you can see, there's more of it up top. And we're just getting the little base of the ass. That's pretty cool. A corrupted maiden. More corrupted maiden things. I don't expect this to be the finished thing. I don't think. I think these are a lot of these are placeholders, like the Nagas. It's like what? What's the Nagas doing? I mean, granted, they were the allies of the Legion at one time, but um, oh yeah, the whole reason I came in here in the first place. It was Battle for Mount Hydra. As you can see, Akamon. There you go, back. And then the Sun Well, of course, is Kill Jaden. So we had the Akamon. I knew Kill Jaden was going to be in this expansion. Let me just show off the weapon talents uh, for uh, the new weapon talents for each of the weapons. Uh, I'm going to have to say I am really jealous of Frost check this one out so we've all probably seen the original weapon skins but I'll just go through them real fast that's pretty cool oops dang it they still haven't fixed that bug so I need a this is why I'm trying to rush through it so when they go around you can't really see it that well that is really awesome I like that and here's that one this is what I'm jealous about. Check that out. 
Let it go around. Ignore that. Compared to the unholy version, that that's really something I'm jelly of. <laughs> you can see the souls rippling up through that. It's like, that just doesn't fit the Frost theme right there. Frost is more about ice. It isn't about death and souls and stuff. So that's kind of one reason I'm really jealous is because you see the skulls and the, th the souls moving up. You look closely enough. That's pretty awesome. And finally, the blood. And also, someone's nice enough to show off the new abominations for me. So you can see the new abomination model. This is even a big version of it because they have the glyph. Trying to get a good angle of it, but... Yeah, not so good. The lighting in here is pretty crap as well. As you can see, this one actually has six things. How cool is that? I really like the scythe. Yeah, and the, the scythe one is like the PvE one. Gonna wait for the head to spin around again to show off these again. I really want to know what the uh, unhold. I mean, sorry, the frost and the uh, blood ones are. Uh, but it seems that the empowerment only works on whatever weapon you're currently using. So that kind of sucks. But all right, it's understandable. Well, that will be it for this episode. Well, maybe. I'll, I'll show off uh, the little uh, ghoul myself. It'd help if I activate it. I just wanted to get into a place with some better lighting as well. So I don't know if this guy's been upgraded as well. I think he has, actually. Yeah, so they both been upgraded, as you can see, my little tiny one. This guy's got some pretty cool stuff. So, yeah, the A-bombs model, looking pretty interesting. I'm kind of on the fence with it. Someone was saying that the new ghoul model is out as well. Let's actually take a look at that real fast. Now, when I say real fast, I mean in 30 seconds because I was a numb. <laughs> Actually. Oh, seriously? It's supposed to remove the cooldown, but I guess since I already have it going. What the heck? Let's look at the skeleton while we're at it. No, the ghoul hasn't been updated. The skeleton has. He's not kind of looking better. Alright, well, that'll be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed.